My earliest memories of Team Fischl, uh, I guess two things stand out. One would be uh, the, the yellow World's Greatest Ditch Digger uh, t-shirts uh, with Doug Trench on the front. Uh, had to have been clothed in one of those from about age five on. Uh, and then uh, getting the chance to explore the Kinnear Road equipment yard uh, when uh, Dad would be uh, in there on a Saturday working on a bid and he was responsible for keeping track of Rick and I and we'd sneak out the back of the yard and go, go uh, explore and climb on all the equipment. My grandfather was a very direct person. Uh, he was a, a tremendously uh, compassionate to the people around him, family and the folks that, uh, that work for the company. He valued uh, doing a, a, a top quality job for the customer. Uh, he valued the uh, quality of our work speaking for the company. Uh, he valued uh, truth and doing what we say we're going to do. Ken wanted to create a place um, where he could, he could keep the guys working. Profits weren't a uh, primary motivator for him. They were an important motivator. For, for Ken Fischel, but his, his real goal was to, uh, was to keep um, good men and equipment busy year-round, if he could. Ken was a man of few words, but he was always focused on the most important stuff. To solve unforeseen problems, to manage the inspectors and customers well, and to bring the job in on budget or better. What can you say about Jeff? He was a, a great leader for, for the organization. Uh, he really took us from the level that Ken had got us to, which was a strong regional contractor, to a national contractor. He was really excited when the, when the customer would uh, say, you guys have given me far more than I ever anticipated. I've observed their work for, over, personally observed their work for over 20 years. And since I've been a manager, I've been a direct customer. I think it starts with, uh, it, it's a top-down organization. The quality, in my opinion, starts at the top and goes all the way down through the whole organization. They're quality people, quality management, quality equipment. I especially admire the safety that's built into the organization. You can drive around the valley here and you can see unsafe practices every day, but never on a team official work site. The goal is to go out there and overperform uh, to the customer's expectations, both in productivity and cost and safety. One of the things that Dad uh, really, really preached was we've got to be the best choice for our customer. We've got to be the world's greatest ditch digger. Uh, was, was how it was first presented back in the late 70s and, and early 80s. We have histories with our customers that go back generations. Uh, be it uh, the new AT&T uh, in Dayton, Ohio, to Veteran that uh, goes back 20 plus years, to a, a 20 year plus relationship with LG&E down in, in Louisville. The reason we've, uh, we've been able to uh, keep that customer is because we've treated them right over the years. I couldn't be happier with uh, Team Fischl from Bill Pauley down through Bill Yackley. Uh, Greg West has been a go good go-to guy. We have to put out on the front line dealing with the customer absolutely the best teammates we can find. If you don't have the fire in your belly in the morning to get up and get out there and get it done and make a good day's work out of it, uh, you're probably in the wrong place. Yeah, I've been with the company 30 years. 14 years. Nine years. 35 years. I'm in my 15th year. We did celebrate John Blair's 50th anniversary with Team Fischl. 50 consecutive years with the company. If we treat them right, then there's no reason for them to look someplace else. We have others like Bill Pauley and Scott Homberger and Randy Blair who are vice presidents that started uh, at 18 years old in the, uh, in the trench and have worked their way up. There's no reason why a teammate can't start out as a labor and later on if he, he puts you know, forth the effort and, and does his job. There's no reason that that teammate can't end up as an area manager down the road. I started like a labor. I start from the bottom up myself. 
I do have experience in underground, and I start, I start like a labor, and I keep moving up, driver, operator, foreman, then become a supervisor for the last three years. 35 years, uh, working man's PhD, that's a privilege. Uh, you, you know, from the time that I started in 72, who would have thought I would still be here today? That tells you a little bit about the company. I, I tell people this was the company that I was trying to build. When I was, had my own company and was, you know, trying to build something I was proud of, uh, when I found Fischl, I found all the things that I was trying to do. We feel like a family. We, we, we feel like we're uh, not just a, a, an employee number, that uh, the company cares about its employees. Ken Fischl used to say that the people that are out doing the job in the field every day, they're the salt of the earth. And if we take care of them, they're going to take care of us. I have integrity, we have integrity as a team, and when we say we're gonna do something, we live up to it. We, we live by our word. We're gonna make sure that we come through with the highest quality of construction in the time frame uh, specified for the job, and over time, the customer's gonna have a lower overall cost of the project. We can do a lot of things. We just did a job down at Red Rock for Quest. We did two freeway bores, we sat 55 foot poles and built aerial. We plowed part of the job. We trenched part of the job. We built an RT site, which is a cabinet site. Blew all the fiber. Put Comcast, Sprint, and Quest all in the same ditch. We did the whole job in about three weeks. We are the best choice. It says a lot about teamwork. It's respect for the individual. It's uh, celebrating the customer. You're talking about being on time uh, with your customer, the deliverance of your product with your customer. I see pride because our teammates take personal responsibility for everything that we do. Our teammates go out there and it's not just team officials' names on it, it's their name, it's their reputation. I know right now we, we get in the a lot of situations where low bid still is still the way the customer has to go. But with our customers, that when we are low bid and we win, they're very excited. They know that we're going to go out there, we're going to do, do a quality safe project. It's, it's good when you have a good relationship with the inspectors, you know. They come and look at your job and they, they can trust you. If he, for some reason they cannot come that day, they can tell you, go ahead, continue what you're doing. We know how you do your job. This company is the type of company you take ownership in. It's as if you own a piece of that company yourself and you want to see it succeed. I enjoy getting up every day and coming to work. It's a pleasant atmosphere to work. I enjoy working with the teammates. It's there. It's a friendly environment. It's a family environment. So it's just, it's like working at home. We are the best choice.